Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So Microsoft finally released its first major Windows 11 update in 2023 and in this video I will go through some of the major changes which are available with this community preview update, more specifically KB50-22913 which you can install right now from the Windows update. The build number is 22621.1344 as you can see here in about Windows window. And with that said, leave a like down below, get subscribed and let's get started. As soon as you update to this latest version of Windows, you will be greeted with this absolutely massive search box in Windows taskbar. So as you can see here we have this search box, in my opinion it's kind of waste of space, but here if I click on it you can see this window here, here we also have the recent app, but in my opinion it's quite annoying because you can clearly see this square right here is shifted to the right. Compared to the Windows Start menu which is completely on the middle, this one is shifted to the right as you can see here. Now you can also go here to the taskbar settings and you can also change the actual look of this search box. So for example, you can hide it completely. You can also have search icon only, which was available with the first release of Windows 11. Then we have the more recent search box, as you can see here, and then the latest search box, which is available with this latest update. In my opinion, this feature isn't needed in the Windows taskbar, so I usually just hide it, as you can see here, and then we can just use this start menu to search for example documents, apps and so and so on. So meanwhile in the taskbar we can also take a look at the Microsoft Teams implementation. So here if I click on this one you can already see this rectangle or this pop-up window for the Microsoft Teams. Right now I'm not signed in into Microsoft Teams account but I think this feature is also much much more complete for the Microsoft team users. And meanwhile, in the taskbar, we can also take a look at the brand new widgets. So for example, if I click on the widgets right now, you can clearly see that we have a few more options to add widgets. So for example, we have weather, tips, gaming, sports, traffic, watch list. And for example, if I add weather right now, then you can see right now the weather in the London. And for example, if I right now full screen these widgets, you can already see that this feature is already present in this latest Windows build. If you want to close this full screen window, you can just click left click on this simple blank space on the right or to the left of this widget. So if I click right here, it should move away. Now, if I go back to the widgets, we can go here to the settings and we have three options. So as you can see, Right now you can actually use Microsoft widgets without Microsoft account because I'm not signed in as you can see with this text right here at the top right. Now we also have a three more options. The first one, open widgets board on a hover. I have this disabled. We also have show notification badges and also show announcements. I have usually all these settings turned off. Now, if I close the widgets, we can also move to the right side of the taskbar. So Microsoft actually refined the system tray icons experience. So let me show you what I mean by that. So for example, if I click on this arrow at the bottom right, you can see this sliding animation, which appears from the bottom to the top. Now, if I move this icon, to this arrow, to this menu, right now, as you can see, we also have this nice animation. So it moves like this, this icon at the bottom actually pops out. And I think this is quite an improvement from the previous implementation. Now, one thing I should also show you is the spacing between these icons. So before this update, the icons in the system tray were actually much, much more together. But right now we have more padding, I believe, or more margin on the right 
and on the left of the icon. As you can see here, there is more space between these two icons. So much, much more appreciated feature. With this update, Microsoft also brought AI inside Windows 11. So what I mean by that, this Bing AI feature, which is available inside this search box, is right now available with this latest update. Of course, you will need to three requirements, which you will need to have. So basically this update, the Microsoft account with signed in inside Windows 11, and of course the Bing AI access, which will be granted if you join the waitlist for the Bing AI. So this is pretty much it for the AI features right now built inside the Windows 11. So right now let's talk about the app, which received slight improvement with this update of Windows 11. So this app is actually called Notepad. So the Notepad, as you can see right now, has these tabs at the top. I think this is absolutely huge feature for the notepad because you can then simply have one code here and then one code here and you can switch between them as you can see here and if you drag at the top you will open the new window of the notepad here if you go to the setting you can also change the app theme for example to the dark or to the light and or use the system setting and I think this is quite impressive for this notepad experience. Right now, I think you can also actually get this notepad uh, version with the tabs, of course, for the older version of Windows. I believe you can just update the app through the Windows Store. And the other app, which also received the slight improvement, is also Snipping Tool. Yes, you heard it right. This is Snipping Tool, which right now supports recording screen function with this release. So if you go here to the settings, you can actually take a look which version we are currently on. So this is 11.2302.4.0. And with this version, you can actually record the screen. So let me show you how this works. So if you press, for example, here on the record, then you can click new here, and then we can draw a shape to select recording area. So for example, you can select, for example, this area you will record and now you can just simply press start and now you have here the countdown and right now is actually recording this piece of my desktop. Unfortunately, the bitrate settings, the resolution settings and the frame rate settings aren't available yet. I hopefully this feature will still come inside the snipping tool and yeah, then it would be probably quite complete. And with that said, these are the two apps. Right now we can also take a look at the another app which is called Phone Link. So this app is right now available only for the Android users, but in the previous, so in the developer channel of Windows Insiders, you can already use iPhone with this app, but right now with this latest stable release, this feature isn't yet available. So the iPhone support still upcoming in the next major release of Windows. And also another app was completely overhauled, which is called Quick Assist. And this one basically changed a few of the UI elements and right now it looks like this. Right now you can also access studio effects inside the quick settings menu. With studio effects you can instantly adjust background blur, eye contact and automatic framing and apply them to your favorite communications applications with seamless integration into Microsoft Teams. And with that said, this has been Tech Enthusiast video. Let me know in the comment section if you updated to this latest version of Windows and if you did, let me know how you like it in the comment section. If you haven't already, subscribe and like to the channel would really mean a lot to me and you can also buy me a coffee on coffee.com, link in the video description. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.